Hello my gorgeous friends, how are you? And welcome to the November Take 5. The prompts this month were set by me and I chose birds to use a pattern or print, the colour blush, which is this colour of this note, a gold and to use a pencil, whether that's a colour pencil or a lead pencil. So if you're going to join in, please use the hashtag Take5Art on Instagram or YouTube so that we can all see... Now, I didn't plan this, but I have to find this beautiful scrap paper that is blush and has a gold print on it. So that's three out of the five prompts taken care of right there. I honestly did not plan this. It was just a happy coincidence. Anyway, and I get to cover up that awful painting that's that's on the page, which I'm gluing these scrapbooking papers on with uh, matte medium. Okay, lovely. So I've glued them on and they're looking pretty good. I'm just going to push out the air bubbles and give it a rub down and make sure it's really well sealed using a cloth because that's always the best way to do it with a cloth. I am now beginning by sketching in what I want to do. I'm going for a little bit of what I would call an Edwardian theme. You guys know I love a bit of vintage, I love a bit of oldie worldy, and so my Edwardian theme is going to include gloves with jewels on them and this kind of swallow, um, is it a swallow? Yeah, I think it's a swallow, a bird in the corner. Now I've just painted it with some white acrylic first so that I could see where the images are. And now I'm going over the top uh, using this beautiful color. What is it again? Um, it's Cobalt Turquoise by Golden Fluid Acrylics. It's really, really lovely. I don't use it enough. So I will paint these in and I'm also gonna paint the bird, but the bird I'm painting in a gouache, it is, where is that color? Where is it? Excuse me, I'm just going through my pencil case here. It's, oh, it's Prussian blue acrylic gouache. Now, next thing, when the paint is completely dry, I am coming in with some Prismacolor pencil with this beautiful French gray color at, to put in the shadows and just give it a bit of dimension. And the Pigma Micron, which I will use to kind of define the outlines of what are going to be the little gemstones on the gloves. Oh, I love how it's coming together already. Now for the gemstones, I wanted something really bright, really pigmenty. So of course I've gone for this Jane Davenport Mermaid marker in uh, lobster color because it's the most pigmenty bright thing I know. Now I'm shading over the co cobalt turquoise acrylic with cobalt turquoise Prismacolor pencil and it's so good together. It, it, they render beautifully together and it just smooths it out and kind of brings the whole glove together I think. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. I didn't even realize I had cobalt turquoise in both acrylic and color pencil. That's so nice, so nice to know. And of course bringing the shadows in with a bit of French grey. I really dig this French grey, it's beautiful. Now I want to make sure that the mermaid marker is completely dry, so that's why I'm drying it with the drying tool because I have a feeling that it's going to take a little while to actually stain the page. Okay, onto the bird. Just letting you guys know that I started off by doing this white pattern on the bird and I really didn't like it. So now I'm going ahead and painting over the bird again in the same blue, in the same Prussian blue so I can start again, basically. And here I go, using white gouache and just putting a, a pattern on top of the bird. Please don't forget to check out the other ladies who take part in the Take 5 Art Challenge. I will have links to each of their, their channels in the info box below this video. Everybody has their own unique style and approach to the monthly prompts and it's so much fun to see what everybody does.
Just to finish this piece off, I want to add some botanicals. So I've created a kind of dark green colour by mixing together the gouache colours. And I am going to just paint in some florals using, these are all gouache colours that I'm going to use for this. And some of these are new and they are such beautiful colours, which is quite possibly the reason that I really want to paint them in. Because I just want to use this amazing Winsor & Newton designer's gouache that I have. It is so beautiful and so nice to use. Look at this colour here. This is a Bengal Rose uh, in Winsor & Newton Designer's Gouache and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This beautiful Naples Yellow. I can't get enough of it. I think it is incredible. I am also using olive green, which I've lightened up with a bit of white. These gouache paints, these Winsor & Newton designers gouache are rocking my world right now. They are so opaque yet smooth and easy to use. They mix well. They, the colors are intense and vibrant. Uh, the, the, the finish is so flat and oh, I just love it. I absolutely love them. So my friends, we are just about done here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And please have a go at using these prompts to do the November Take 5. I would love to see what you come up with.